The Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris looks to be getting a 2 billion euro expansion very soon, which translates to over 2.4 billion US dollars. So let's jump right into it, right now! Hello Disney Cruisers, Alexander here, and welcome to Cruise Disney, your home for Disney news. New videos are released every Tuesday and Friday as always, but now, let's get to the news. Today, Walt Disney Chairman and CEO Bob Iger announced an expansion of the underappreciated Walt Disney Studios Park at Disneyland Paris. This will be a multi-year expansion and include three new areas themed around Marvel, Star Wars, and Frozen. It looks as though the Star Wars and Frozen area will be taking over the Backlot Tour ride, with Marvel taking over the existing area around Rock and Roller Coaster and the Lights Motor Action Extreme Stunt Show. They also look to expand Toy Story Playland. It's possible that they could be adding Illing Swirling Saucers from over in the Disney World Toy Story Land, or possibly a brand new attraction or two. This new massive project will be rolled out in phases beginning in 2021, and will be the first of new attractions coming to the resort ever since Disney took full and complete ownership 100% of the Disneyland Paris Resort. It was also announced two weeks ago at the D23 Expo in Japan that Rock and Roller Coaster was going to be transformed into an Iron Man ride. Also, a new fresh attraction will also be coming to this Marvel themed land. But taking note of the Star Wars area, you can tell that it is significantly smaller than Galaxy's Edge at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World, with it being only the Millennium Falcon attraction and nothing else. On over to the Frozen Land now, as it looks to be a massive improvement of the Frozen Ever After attraction in the Norway Pavilion at Epcot. This land will be themed around the fictional land of Arendelle, from the film and will feature in Elsa's Ice Palace. It's also quite possible that they could even be getting their own version of Frozen Ever After. One more thing, the big lake acting as a hub for this expansion will feature day and night entertainment throughout the park's operating hours. Moving on, we now know what the Cove Bar will become over in Pixar Pier at Disney California Adventure Park, and that is the Lamplight Lounge. Cleverly named after Luxo Jr., the famous Pixar lamp appearing on the logo. This new restaurant will offer amazing views of World of Color, giving it a high demand for seating at night. This new restaurant could also be taking over not all, but some of Ariel's Grotto. Next, this past week, key executives and Imagineers of the Walt Disney Parks and Resorts were spotted touring the Wonders of Life Pavilion. Could this be them making preparations for the Mission Space restaurant on the way? Or could it be a brand new attraction secretly in the works? It would also make a lot more sense if the new restaurant was built closer to Mission Space, like on the side of it. But the Wonders of Life structure does capture that circular building that looks to be present in the concept art for the restaurant. Also, this year will be the first time in years that the Wonders of Life Pavilion will not be used for the Flower and Garden Festival as a special place to go to experience the event. Now, Disney has just announced that tomorrow, the first trailer for Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, will be released. With the film being released to theaters November of this year. And lastly for today, with Black Panther grossing more than $700 million worldwide in the box office in its first two weeks, Bob Iger has stated that he's sure Disney Imagineering are already in the works on a Black Panther ride or attraction somewhere in Walt Disney World. But now, be sure to leave a like as it really does help me out produce more content like this. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel and hit that notification icon so you never miss a video. I'll see you all on Friday, and I'll see you real soon.